I talk to people who live in the foothills and they say, well, what can I do to make my place fire safe? And I look at where they live and I say, you should move to the valley. But then the valley is going to flood. So as the, the climate guy, if you lived in California, would you be planning around getting flooded out or burned out? If it isn't one, it is the other. That is actually more or less true. And, you know, there's no reason you couldn't get both in the same year. Let's hope that doesn't happen. You know, like Dixie Fire, I'd talk to these PIOs on a weekly basis. And obviously things didn't look good for a while, uh -huh. for several months. And every time you ask about it, they always turn it into a positive spin somehow. Mm -hmm. And I, I was always just thinking to myself, this doesn't seem positive that it's, you know, grew to 900,000 acres. As a landscape scale kind of person, uh, working at the regional level, do you think that there's a need to, for us to kind of fundamentally reimagine how we're going to manage these national forests in light of climate change and in light of um, new realities? Yeah, I, I think we're definitely, um, I think a lot of folks are going to have to have those discussions for sure. And we spend so much time cleaning up after fires, but in the meantime, we've got, you know, an area here of green trees that really could use all of our attention right now. Mm -hmm. yeah. If we've got a town, we got to save the town. Yeah. How are you going to save the town? You got to put in Dozier Line if you can. Uh, you got to put, try to be as minimally impact as possible, but also get the job done. Right. And Dozer work is quick and it works. It's a proven method. Right. It's more uh, unwieldy to yeah. move. You need, you need big equipment to move these around. Having a, a skitter, grapples on it is huge. Um, excavators are huge. Uh, to have, um, they're just very useful tools if you can support them. So. Yeah, so man, it looks like you just, uh, yeah, I did that. Just started a forest fire? I did, but I, I'm being told that it's legal. We'll see how long that lasts, but I'm being told that I did the right thing right, in starting the forest fire. Today it's legal. Today it's legal. All right, so... Uh, what, I'll come back tomorrow, it's not, right, right? Yeah, so uh, what's your day job? My day job is I'm a, a comedian and I host a show on, called the United Shades of America on CNN. All right. Yeah, and also, apparently I'm a firefighter in my off time. Yeah. So tell me what you're doing out here today. Burning stuff. Like what? Um, we're burning this ponderosa, mostly forest. And we're trying to get rid of the fuel, and we're trying not kill um, the cedar, the dug fir, or especially not the sugar pine. You can keep it coming. 